everyone welcome to a special edition of sunday morning hangover this is jason uh this is kai and we have another great discussion for you today uh the movie of the day is Slapshot. it's another oldie it's from 1977 but just in case you haven't seen it still want to give everyone a spoiler warning yeah spoiler warning they win at the end <laughs> uh yeah this is a uh, slap shot uh from 1977 as kai said and it's directed by George Roy Hill. And since this is a sports movie, uh, we have our buddy Nicholas. On, Hello, uh, everyone. Yeah. He's our uh, sports aficionado and uh, everything hockey comes from him. Oh, yeah. Great. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, for, uh, thanks for the high praise, Jason. Uh, yes. I, uh, I hope not to disappoint. <laughs> But uh, and typically we we also uh, drink beer. Uh, myself not included in this in this uh, this beer it's drinking. Like I have, sober January. I have a sober January. I have a nice uh, seltzer that is flavored like a, a ginger <laughs> lime mule. Oh, so I can uh, pretend I'm having a a Moscow mule. But uh, what are you two drinking? Nothing. I you guys have... said you weren't having beers. So nothing. Oh, I actually. My lovely uh, wife came back from the <laughs> store with some uh, Hazy Wonder Lagunitas beer for myself. Oh, nice. So, yeah, well, I think she's re- she's rewarding me for uh, for watching sports. I think so <laughs> for a job well done on watching yeah. something <laughs> sports related, but not yeah. an actual sports game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did she watch the movie with you? She had watched. Uh, I would say seventy percent of the movie. I would say. Okay. She 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 wasn't planning on it, but it actually brought it, it captivated her at moments. So she kind of had to watch around and see how it played out. But she watched a good portion of it. Yeah, she was like, she saw the title card. I was like, oh, I have to make my escape oh. soon. <laughs> 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 but uh, but yeah, let's get into the movie Slapshot. Uh, it has Paul Newman in it and a very young Paul Newman, or young to that time or to our perspective, but uh. Yeah. Nick, we can start off with you. What did you like most about the movie? I mean, it was it. It's a nice throwback. I mean, obviously, the filming of it being in the seventies was just it's can get away with a little bit more. But at the same time, I really just liked the the dark humor of it all. Um, I thought it was. I've seen this movie before, but I haven't seen it in a while. I really forgot how funny it was. Um, just within the first like fifteen minutes, that's kind of how my wife got wrapped into it. Just kind of pausing and kind of having to have her watch a joke i think the first scene was when the player goes out there and tells the owner he's uh he's not going to do the the runway show that he's going to whip out you know his uh his parts there and he you know tells the guy that he hope he drops dead and well the owner's on the phone he literally does it so i mean that was that was a good portion or when the hansons are you know they realize they have toys in their luggage uh yeah. <laughs> is so one fun. that I, I i lost it i i almost had tears coming down my face when i saw that part again uh just because i knew going ahead to like you know when they actually play they're the most like menacing violent players out there so uh but yeah i long-winded though i think just what i really liked about it is just like, the comedy of it all uh with sports movie obviously like it had had, had the sports element had all had actually I felt like it had a good representation of like a kind of a minor league hockey team to be honest too, um, not like really Hollywoodized too much. I think it was pretty well done uh, at that point. But yeah, just how funny it was. But what about you guys? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll go next. I actually, it's funny. I kind of when I was watching this movie, I was watching it with with my girlfriend, and uh, we had watched Itania together, and we watched Itania for. Uh, for this podcast too and we had nick on but one of the main things that kind of came out with this movie and i was like i enjoyed it a lot was that they actually showed them actually playing hockey it seemed like they all knew how to skate and everything it seemed like the camera guy or the camera person was there with his camera on skates and actually like following these people so there, there was a stark kind of difference between showing the sport that's being depicted in kind of like in, in a correct way and actually showing the sport and in, in this film then then what i kind of saw as a negative with itania where it's like they didn't show enough of the ice skating on on that what film do you mean? huh they showed her do a triple axel sir 
Oh, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> they see they CG died with her. pristine <laughs> yeah. CGI. Yeah, you, you saw that pristine face. CGI. <laughs> Copied and pasted onto her <laughs> onto somebody and everything. <laughs> but this one, it was definitely like you. It, it definitely looked like all of them had skates on, and probably mm -hmm. old ass Paul Newman at that time had skates on too and everything. So I think that was like sort of like the big shining thing for me, where it's like this this movie's about hockey. There's all the little nuances about them kind of like their owner's a douchebag and everything or like or the the general manager, right? Is that what the 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 guy that was like smoking yeah. cigars all the time? Like he's not he's not yeah. the owner, but like it's a failing team and everything. But uh I like the little nuances of like just getting some excitement back into into the sport or for their team and everything, but showing the the hockey and, and the the ice was was a, a big shining point for me. Okay, I guess it's my turn. Um, I had a couple things. So, Paul Newman has so much swag. Like, <laughs> he was a dude, my, right? <laughs> yeah, this man had a freaking, what is that, a, a fur coat? A mink coat? Just, <laughs> just hanging out? I was like, come on, man. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, outside of all the swag he had, um, why did no one have a freaking helmet on? Oh, that was the time, so, right? <laughs> yeah, that was that like, was the time. Yeah, that's the funny thing. So that was uh, when we watched it too. I, again, back then and at that point in hockey, you didn't have to wear a helmet. So that was kind of Whoa. grandfathered in, I think, late 80s, I want to say. Um, so yeah, like even at that point, you, you would still have like the Gordie Howes and all those old school players like were helmetless when, when they retired stuff. But yeah, uh, yeah. No helmets. So it was kind of crazy to see. And I kind of kept thinking too. I'm like, geez. Yeah, like, that blew my mind. Yeah, like just how, how many concussions were probably had back then. Uh, it was mm -hmm. probably crazy. No matter how much teeth they lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so before I get to my other point, I actually have a note that uh, there was great 70s boobs in the movie. I saw that. <laughs> I I read that when I was doing my uh my my like rating of it, and I read it to Patty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 70s. Oh shoot! I forgot I put that on there already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been copying my notes. <laughs> yeah, you've been I've putting been that as your notes. reviews. Well, right? Yesterday, I start copying all my notes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've been using that as my my. <laughs> I forgot that was on it. That's funny. <laughs> Though when I was watching it, I kept thinking about every like TV shows and movies that have referenced this movie. Mm -hmm. Like I'm I'm a big fan of this TV show, Letter Kenny, which has a spinoff called Shorzy, and it's centered around a uh, small town in Canada, and it's really like heavily hockey related, and it's a small town hockey team. And they don't have a much attendance. So they have to do things in order to get attendance. And it's always some stupid stuff. Um, huh. uh, so, yeah, I yeah, wonder if that's, that, yeah, that's the influence. Yeah. So I thought about that. I thought about, uh, what's it called? Semi-pro. Like, mm -hmm. Jackie Moon seems like Paul Newman's character to a T almost. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, as I was watching the movie, I just kept picking up like references to movies from like the two thousands and even now and TV shows. Yeah, even like uh the baseball movie Major League, it feels very reminiscent of like kind of that you know that's the baseball version of this of this story. So um, I feel like they took it from it too, and it's kind of funny. You see how influential this kind of movie is for future uh, sports ones, like. Even till now, like like you said, Semi Pro was only released what like ten years ago, so yeah, fifteen, right. so which is pretty recent. I mean, like any uh, Blades of Glory, I'm sure has like probably some references if we want to really go back and dissect that one too with Will Ferrell. So, um, yeah, it, it's watching it again, like I did, and like seeing, I'm like I, I forget how how kind of a bigger movie it is in the grand scheme of like just the sports genre. I wonder if this case, this kind of became like a blueprint. Like it, it was a like the a, a good way to show showcase the sport, but then also have a story that's wrapped around it. 
that references yeah. the sport and everything. I think it allows a sports movie to be kind of a, a comedy. Like, I'm sure all the other sports movies leading up to that point, like, were always like the underdogs or, you know, um, kind of champs that fall on hard times. But kind of like that movie was one really where it's like, yeah, no, it's kind of like I said, like kind of similar to Major League Two, where it's like, you know, you get a, a player that's on the tail end of their career holding on, you know, like in the middle of nowhere in the minors, like jerking the curtain, you know? So um, I definitely, yeah, definitely feel like it's laid a template for other ones and kind of like showed that like sports movies could be more than just serious. They could be, um, they could be fun and comedic. Yeah. True. Yeah. Very happy they did that. Because all those sad, 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 sad sports movies. We're so not. I I have one question actually I want to ask you two because <clears throat> like I said I mm-hmm. went into this going in and watching it but what was your first reaction of when the Hanson uh, the Hansons actually played uh, were you expecting that or uh, no what was your react like were you <laughs> yeah because because with myself with my wife here I made her kind of wait to see it play out to see them play because once they went on the ice uh, it was I it's I'm sure you guys are like you know. We're surprised but yeah well, i just wanted your thoughts yeah i was not ready for that no pat you patty's first instinct toys I'm like what yeah pat patty's <laughs> first patty's first instinct was like oh when they got in the ice she was like they're, look they're, they're probably not gonna be able to know how to play or anything yeah. or they're not gonna make a shot or something and uh i think that was like the first thing that came to mind and stuff but <laughs> but they were the most energetic when they when they first arrived onto the team and so they were they were bullies. They're pretty much goons. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best thing. Is that these guys, yeah, these guys that are playing with you know electric cars in the, the hotel room and fighting about sodas, and then when they're when they're playing, they're they're the most ruthless, you know, uh, dirtiest players. Yeah, it was just uh, I uh, I think it's it's one of the more funnier moments in a in a, a movie like a sporting movie, especially just because like you're like you said they're, they're they're geeky, they're they're dorky, but once they're out there, it's just the uh, all hell breaks loose and. And also too with this movie, it's uh, I, I forget how uh, obviously hockey's a violent sport, but um, I totally forget how in the movie it just literally ends with you know spoiler alerts, just uh, a brawl. Uh, I, I, for some reason, I wasn't expecting that again, uh, just because every movie ends on like something else. But yeah, it was just a different ending too. For, That's for true. <laughs> Yeah, you, you actually like expect like the, the the whole thing be to be done with like a little bow tie and everything, and you're like, oh, that's yeah. uh But then it it almost it starts abruptly, like there's mm-hmm. like really no kind of like entrance to the movie. It kind of just starts, and then it no, ends. The interview. Yeah, yeah. And the interview, I was like that. I like just hilarious. I feel like that was like a, yeah, like an amazing way to like kind of start it, where it's like it just yeah. that's that's sort of what you expect like these like old hockey players would be like in these interviews they're like what, what are you trying to ask me like i just play a game or something <laughs> yeah i love in that interview when it opens up too when you just when he says you sit in the penalty box full of shame you know <laughs> right. so like that uh, you think about what you've done it's just, <laughs> yeah it's such, a, it's such a good line to open it up <laughs> now now was were they a minor league team i couldn't really get that because i was like back then they're they're referencing the boston bruins uh i think some other teams but were they a minor league team? They were. I, I I don't know if they're necessarily a minor league team, but they weren't the NHL. So the only reason why you know that, or like you can pick up on a bit, is at the end when they mentioned. Remember, the general manager comes in and mentions the scouts, and they all go scouts. You know. Yeah. Um, so so, and maybe like I think so. I think that's they were like. I don't know if they're another professional league or the minors, but they were definitely not like the big leagues, but. Just below it, though, from what it sounded like. It could be like a NBA and ABA type of thing. Yeah, it could have been that, too. Exactly, exactly. But just because, like, I don't know how the layout was back then. But, yeah, it, it was uh, not the pros yet or, like, the, the big leagues. But do we assume Paul Newman's character was – or was he, a, was he, like, a lifelong, like, this level – no, I think you can assume he played in the. I think he was played in the pros and then like was falling on yeah, falling on hard times and. Uh, but he was a player coach in, in this, right? He was like one that, of the coaches. Right. Yeah, Checking and I, but remember his 
yeah, his whole thing though, it sounds like as he was doing the coaching because ever he wanted to coach for a, a you know if they got sold or if they yeah. you know eventually uh you know for another team too. So if he could, but um yeah, and that's one thing my wife pointed out too is like uh and that's something that's kind of been lost too is the player coach element. Like you don't see that in sports at all now. So it's kind of crazy to see mm. it in a movie like that because that was pretty normal uh for <laughs> for yeah, baseball had it like crazy yeah baseball i i want to say hockey probably at some point probably like had, a player, coach. had a player coach uh, oh right yeah now? yeah lebron yeah, uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was like saying i was like not officially but officially <laughs> <laughs> and a billionaire come on we can't forget that yeah <laughs> <laughs> his insurance company player coach owner like, oh, crap man <laughs> but yeah it, the, yeah that's funny that he, he was a player coach and you saw it yeah, you saw it a lot back then and it's like I, I wonder if you ever see it again now like joke around about LeBron and everything but like if you officially would see it like in baseball mm, how it was now. like hmm? uh, I it think it was political now yeah, it might be, it might be a little too political. The only sport I could really see it happen again in, but it's definitely still a stretch in baseball, maybe. Um, but that's potentially if they have a guy that is on the tail end of his career that you know could be the he's manager not playing all the time. Yeah, and he's not playing all the time exactly. But even that though, I think it's just um, it's like the general manager and manager. You know, like that used to be a thing, and in some sports it is. Um, or being head coach, general manager, but it's that's even phasing out now too. I think it's kind of just getting where um, sports in general is just becoming more demanding. So I think it's just harder to yeah to do both. Now. Like the 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 sport itself is demanding, but then the roles themselves are getting bigger than they used to be. And so yeah, having people exactly. that are more focused in that in that role makes sense. Right. I wonder. I wonder why that changed so much. I wonder why sports became so much of a business and less of a a sport like a fun thing that people do to get paid for well probably yeah, we see. yeah we we're just talking about that like oh. most likely amazon will sell probably an, a sports game by by piecemealing it basically or like a la carte like oh you want this sports this game specifically like you can pay for it on this premium charge or something like if i can see pay, down the road you have to pay by quarter that'd be great but, <laughs> or you, you you pay to have no commercials but then what do you see? <laughs> just standing around during the timeout. <laughs> yeah. Just high fiving each other. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, I think it is like a it is like a like a, a money thing. Like no matter what, everything becomes a, a yeah. business cog or something, or just like a cog in the wheel. But I don't know. I, I can ask you the uh, this next question, uh, and we'll start with you, Nick. Is there anything that you didn't like about the movie? Yeah. Not really. I mean, um, I guess the ending, that's all kind of for me. Like, I mean, there's a lot of things like with the movie of me, like they get away with a lot, but I, I kind of chalk that up to just that was the 70s and that's just kind of how things are. Some of the jokes and some of the sayings and stuff, but things I don't like, yeah, it would probably just be the ending. I just think it's kind of always odd where it's just like, you know, they kind of just say, hey, you know, the the ref made the other team forfeit because they threatened him. Um the only other thing too, I don't know if you guys got this vibe, and I love like I love the movie. I like Paul Newman, but his character is pretty sleazy and kind of um, I don't know, kind of awkward with uh, the other players, like girlfriend. It's a lot of times, yeah, and it's just kind of weird. It kind of yeah. just comes off really weird sometimes. I mean, like, and I know that's maybe the seventies how things were played up back then, but man, like just watching that whole play out now, it's just kind of one of those things where it's like kind of based on how you know, our current society, you just like. Oh, like couldn't get away with that now. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's just just those things. That, that's sort of, that's sort of where 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 my kind of like criticism comes, where it's like it's almost like it was that when I ended the movie and I was like I was telling my girlfriend I was like, is there a way you can view this movie in the lens of the seventies, where like a lot of those jokes and derogatory terms and stuff that. They almost kind of hit you a lot like it it, it it you almost forget that like movies were like that back then mm-hmm. and everything and so like that that was sort of like a, a a kind of thing that was kind of difficult to kind of get around where it's like nowadays yeah you see that a lot of this stuff would not kind of pass the first sniff if you like i'm assuming someone wrote <laughs> a script like this and tried to hand it off 
to someone nowadays and be like, how about you tone it down a little bit right there? <laughs> uh, but I think that was like my, yeah, it's like, it was very difficult kind of for me uh, to kind of like look past all that stuff. I, everything else in terms of like the, the way that they show the sport and, and the, the story, um, he does come off as like a sleaze bag, but um, I think there's many other characters that are worse off. That one dude with the glasses is like the worst person. <laughs> I think if, oh, you're, like, the... if you consider Paul Newman's character, the sleaze bag is the <laughs> other guy that always talks the... about like, the quagmire esque guy. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and then I was oh, like, man, I was yeah. like, that guy is gonna be the one guy that has never spoken to a woman or, or anybody. <laughs> He's like just making yeah. up stories the whole time. <laughs> I thought I thought his character was kind of funny because I feel like we've all known guys like that to where he met one girl at one bar. He was hell bent on going back to that one bar. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I know exactly what character. Yeah. About yeah, we all know someone baseball. like that. Yeah. Like <laughs> Yeah. It's whether or not do we want to know someone like that but it's or, so it goes. or whether if that person's on this call or not that's a different story <laughs> <laughs> how about you Kai I actually didn't have anything down I think like the only thing would be that was glaring was the relationship with uh, Paul Newman and his uh, teammates girl that was very weird but other than that I just looked watched it as a, a comedy yeah and i was just laughing yeah. at just the most random shit and i think that's sort of like how you should view this is is yeah. just look look at it through that lens of, of like this is a comedy it's about hockey as paul newman who who i i've said many times before paul newman and and uh and uh tom hanks in road to perdition are is like a very under Damn, uh, underrated movie I, I it's it's really it, it it takes tom hanks as like you would never believe but that's a whole different story but uh i think that's like the lens you should look into it where it's like it's it's a sports movie it's funny it's comedic and everything and 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 uh and it's like a it's almost like a a, a time kind of stamp from back then yeah honestly that's that's exactly what it is do you think it's a little too long? I kind of were talking about this about a previous movie. We we watched this movie Stalker, Dude, that was uh, like two hours level, and like though. forty minutes. It 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 was long, and it's like Kai took like two days to watch it. But well, do you it's, think it's long and it's slow? Yeah, it's like it's a very slow pace. It's a slow burn. It's it's very story driven, yeah. kind of visual story driven too. But do you think this movie was a little bit too long? Like it was like two and a half hours or. Yeah, over two, two hours itself. Yeah, it was like two in a couple minutes. Yeah, so do you do you see that as a criticism? Where I was like, I was kind of watching it. I was like, ah, no. Like, I think based on the conversation you and I had about Stalker, it made me give the time stamp for this a different outlook. Like movies, like we were talking about, like movies were events back then. Like people didn't go to movies every yeah. week like they do now. Like so, they needed to be there for extended periods of time. So to be there for two hours is probably nothing to people back then. So but for us, it's like yeah, no, give me an hour and a half and I'm I'm golden. Funny you mentioned that because I brought that pretty much kind of a similar question yesterday when I watched this is because when or Saturday when I was trying to sneak in time to to get this is I seen this movie before and i kind of just assumed like oh block off 90 minutes and um yeah. when i started it too my first thing was oh wow yeah this is two hours but to kai's point i was thinking the same thing where in the 70s like and i was thinking about it as well like i didn't feel like movie production wise for this movie from when it was made like that they really cheaped out anywhere it felt like it was pretty like jason like you were saying like the attention to detail kind of like with the sport was pretty good like they kind of did a good job representing how it kind of flows and how the sport works and they made it pretty authentic but um never like i i think what i'm trying to better point of saying is it felt like they did it for the point of like movies back then like kind of thing it's like it's a family event like you went there you two hours it was an experience you weren't there to just kind of feel like you're ripped off or like i can yeah. only imagine maybe a 90 minute movie or an hour movie back then like people might have been pissed um, because yeah, you're people dressed up, right? I think they go to movies back then too. Um, so maybe yeah. they were making it more of an experience, but 
there's some I like any movie. There's kind of dead parts in them in this movie, but I don't feel like they're very glaring. If anything, I kind of feel like they rush it at the end. Um, you know, or it's kind of just like abruptly like, oh, it's over, you know. Uh, but I mean, we've watched two hours of it, so it's kind of good enough. But yeah, kind of funny thing is a kind of similar thing that was uh, talked about here. Yeah, I think it's also like perspective. It's like, is it is it a a long two hours? Like where you really feel the two hours, or is it like like kind of flows and it 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 breaks up the 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 two hours with some some jokes and laughs and some story points, some good hockey moments and everything. And so those two hours can go go by pretty quickly in terms of like no, I think how you a, are enjoying it. I don't think it was a slow. I think it was a good pace. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just treated it like, like I said before, like any other comedy. Like, it didn't feel like, man, I'm still watching this movie. Like, I enjoyed watching it all the way through. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it felt like, I mean, the only parts that really slowed down is when, like, his, like, current wife was introduced, it felt like. Because <laughs> uh, those were, like, the only moments were just like, oh, like, it kind of things slowed for a bit. But um, I don't know. I kind of felt like that was pretty enjoyable throughout. Like, so it didn't feel like... Uh, it slowed or I don't I don't feel like I ever felt like it was dragging on. Yeah, you weren't looking at your phone to to like oh no. like to see like what time it was or something or right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well I can ask you this. What it Kai or Kai knows that we, we use this thing called letterbox and stuff and it's like a way we can track the movies that we watch and stuff, but we also give it a rating. Sometimes you put your review of great seventies boobs in there. <laughs> And uh, but uh, it's a it's a rating scale of true. Okay, there we go. Uh, is you, what? Mm-hmm. Huh? No, you cut out for a second. Oh, did I? Uh, uh, it's it's a rating scale from zero stars or one star to five star. Like what? What would you give it, Nick? Uh, for me, I'm a little partial. I I I really I mean we've talked before. I like sports movies, and this one is kind of right up my alley with the comedy. So. Uh, I mean, it hovers around the four to five range, but if I had the, the push, I'd probably give it a five. I don't know if I've watched this all the time, but I can definitely see myself revisiting this every few years and kind of having a laugh. I, I mean, especially around hockey season stuff too, kind of always coming around. But um, but yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, like I said, it's one of those where I'm probably going to make it now, but uh, for what it is like back then, I kind of, I, I really enjoy the comedic aspects of it, but also just, the sport too so yeah i'd give it a five okay how about you uh kai i'm weird about excuse me i'm weird about comedies like i don't know how to rate comedies because i <laughs> watch so many of them and it's like i just like to laugh um so i gave this and like i give almost every comedy if you look at my letterbox I, I give it a three okay but three in my eyes for a comedy is like really really good it, it's funny yeah, because uh i gave it a three <laughs> yeah i gave it a two uh oh, and man. and i don't know i just like i it kind of goes to my probably if to our next question but um i don't know i can i i'm i'm happy to have watched this movie once um but i don't know i i i like the story i like the 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 action scenes of like it being hockey and stuff and seeing the hockey the sport play out but I don't know. I just I, I I rate the movie like while I'm watching it in my head, and it changes or ebbs and flows and stuff. But I I walked away with the two, and um, yeah, I can't really can't really elaborate more on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I yeah, I feel like I've okay. seen better. I I feel like I've seen better sports movies or from my in my own perspective, and and uh, I haven't seen many of them, but uh, I feel like I I, I couldn't take away much from this movie oh so you viewed it as you didn't look at it as a comedy you looked at it as a sport i think movie. so i think so i i I don't know why i was like i couldn't really see it in a lens that is not today's lens and stuff so yeah. so there's a lot of things that you, it's it's can be very hard to watch if you're not used to like what kind of like humor is kind of done in this movie and stuff and and so it's um so that was my perspective of that of that mm-hmm. but um but how about you nick uh would you if you were to have a personal movie collection uh would you add this movie to your movie collection 
Yeah, I tend to like good movies. So I think I'd add this one to mine. Um, but <laughs> I find it hilarious. I think it's a pretty good one. I mean, it's kind of a cult classic too. So I would add it to my personal collection. But uh, yeah, I have a pretty easy answer for me. How about you, guys? I would, I would watch it again first. I think I would. I think I would add it to my uh, collection, but I would watch it one more time just to solidify that. I I think I I would need to watch it one more time again to to maybe change my rating or change my perspective on this and uh, of the of the movie and stuff. But um, I guess you can kind of already know what what I would say. But I I won't be. I wouldn't be adding this movie uh i rented it for for four dollars uh so so i gave someone money for this thing um but yeah so i yeah i, I wouldn't be adding this to my uh movie collection all right nick uh you have any uh last comments before uh we let you go for the night uh yeah uh i would say go niners on saturday and uh <laughs> yeah that's uh and it was fun to watch i mean it was a nice to revisit it on my end like i said i've seen it before and uh it was good to uh kind of give it another look but uh yeah no just go niners on saturday that's the uh, most important thing right now yeah well it's uh it's january 9th of uh 2023 so yes the the 49ers will be playing this sunday is sunday Mm-hmm. but uh all right kai you uh you want to take us out yeah uh thanks thanks for joining us for another episode of sunday morning hangover i'm kai and i'm jason and we'll be back next week for another one